Well, good morning, everyone. And firstly, a very happy Easter to you. The start of what will hopefully be a dry and sunny Easter weekend. It's also going to be a great weekend for a lot of people that are jetting away on their holidays, many of them for the first time in two years. And so what I thought I'd do is a little brief piece about um, things to bear in mind. So remember when you check in, check in about two and a half hours before. Don't check in much more than that because that causes problems almost as much as if you check in late. So about two and a half hours before is absolutely ideal. Remember that actually when you're checking in, that's when they check your COVID vaccination certificate. That's when they check any other paperwork that's required for the destination that you're going to. So make sure when you're in that snake queuing up there that you get all that ready to go and that will ease things. So that's point two. And finally, point three, make sure when you're going through security, you get your phone out, get your laptop out or your iPad, whatever you've got, lay it flat on the basket as you put it through and also take your coat off and your belt off and be ready to do that. Because of course, if you think about it, anybody going through twice slows the queue down. So that hopefully will help people sail through. And of course, all of you traveling, particularly at a Bristol airport, are gonna have a lovely fast track pass to get through the airport and hopefully bypass any security queues, which is great news. Um, on other bits and pieces, everything is going in the right direction from a holiday perspective. So we've now got big, big, big destinations like Spain and Greece and Cyprus, where you don't even now, if you're fully vaccinated, even need to fill in a form either to go out or to come back. So really things are changing. And I'm hoping again, as I've said before, by the summer, it'll be lifted almost for everywhere, which is brilliant. The other change that we've seen is a lot more people over the last 10 days booking worldwide destinations. America is proving particularly popular for you out there, but also Australia and New Zealand have made a big, big comeback. Australia, you can actually go now for the first time in an awful long time. And amazingly, one of the countries that was locked down seemingly almost forever over the last two years or so, New Zealand, actually is finally opening its doors to international travellers on the 2nd of May. So good news there as well. So again, it's wonderful to do a positive update. Do have a super Easter and particularly those people that are jetting away. Have a brilliant, brilliant time. Thanks very much. Bye bye.